Hey guys, it's Demi and Cream, and we're back to playing some Pokemon Gold. Oh, I thought he was a trainer. Oops. Alrighty, so we're gonna go... We're gonna be lazy, and we're gonna fly back to Mahogany Town. Oh shoot, there is actually one guy I gotta go see. Ugh. That was an awkward burp, and it hurt. I forgot. Ugh. Ignore that. So there's this guy. There used to be. There's normally two markets in this one. And I don't show. I don't show me going in there because they take like half your money. And it's like fuck that noise, man. So I take a good chunk of it. So I'm always like, nah. Alrighty. I'm gonna heal up here and then we're gonna start going to the right. Yeah, the right. Alrighty! Hi, friend! If he's who I think- if he has the Pokemon I think he has, then he- there's a good chance he might- he'll probably kill fucking- Yeah. Well, Carmel, I believe in you. Just use some acid for now. Cadaver? Yeah, I am gonna move for that one. Um, sugar. The 35-36 is kind of like the magic level I need for most of my Pokemon. Because when they either evolve, or in Sugar's case, the level in which is... <sighs> It's the, um, last level where she learns a worthwhile attack. Okay, where are we? There we go. Yeah, level 35. Pidgey evolved at level 36. Um, it's in the call at level 36. We're getting close to that magic number for everybody. But. Yeah. I might, I don't like doing grinding, but I might have to grind a little bit before Claire because her Pokemon are, low, are pretty close to level 40, they're dragon type. I don't think I have anything that can even get close to beating dragon type right now. You know, and you guys are probably thinking, oh well you sold Icy Wind, I'm like, I don't think any of my Pokemon can even fucking use Icy Wind. And it's got such a low, um, attack power that it's like, you know, technically yeah, it's super effective, but, what's the use for is super effective if it can't deal damage very much. <sighs> I don't know why I am so yawny whenever I'm recording it. Don't know why. Have that had some cereal for dinner, which cereal usually helps me make up too. I'm drinking some Gatorade Sippy Sippy. Try to help me wake up. Cause I'm going to my friend's I'm going to go to Applebee's with my with my friend Claire. And um for half price apps. But that's in like four hours. 
But I want to have my YouTube shit going while I'm gone so I can be like, YES! And I can just start- I bought a, ca a pocket calendar so I can upload on the go. Like if I'm at David's house and he needs to do like work at home, I can be like, okay, well I'll just do some of my stuff. And, you know, so I can- then I can see, okay, what do I need to make up for my scheduling? I'm a little bit OCD with this. It, I like patterns, I like routine, I am completely fucking crazy. Bitch. Such a little special though. Ugh. Sorry, this butterfree is irritating the fuck out of me. Fuck you. Also, the confusion noise kind of hurts my head. I don't know why. It could always- because here's the thing. I know for a fact that Haunter, a lot of the Ghastly family tree, and um... As well as uh, the Magnemite family tree, they sound different on the emulator. It sounds I, I like the pitches are different, and it, it, it kind of bugs me a little bit. It could also be because well, I know they sounded different in my headphones, but with my earbuds, my um. Noise canceling earbuds, they um, they bug my head sometimes. He's doing stupid stuff! Let's go! <gasps> Come on, Carmel. Oh, Carmel, I love you! I'm sorry! Oh. Charmeleon must have really shitty EVs or IVs. Carmel be the fire type? That's creepy. Oh, I should probably heal Carmel up. I ain't got no shit about it. It's just a polywag. Polywag ain't that fucking rare. Especially when you surf at night. <gasps> Don't know why I'm always tired when I do, do Let's Plays. I'll never understand why. I mean, I would understand when I like would do them at night, but it's like, come on, guys. Yeah. 
I feel like caramel and sugar take turns, like, being, like, the shitty one. That's okay. I mean, someone has to be the shit one. What's this? A gray notchable. Creepy. Creeper McJeeper. <laughs> Love me some green apple catering. I hope it stays a thing, <laughs> even after summer's over, cause that... <sighs> That's like the only way I, my body can really take in potassium well. Without getting sick. And it fucking tastes delicious. And there's a thing over there. I hope that wasn't something I was supposed to hear. I thought I heard something. I was like, eh. Alrighty, let's go. Into the cave! Or towards the cave. And then into the cave. Oh wait. I know he's a flying type guy. I know that much. Some of these I don't remember very well, others I do. It's been a long time. Alright, Sugar, you can take this one out. I believe in you. And here's a very strange thing. Normally, Countastia takes longer when I have something else open and running, like Visual Boy. It's rendering the videos faster than... and less time than it takes to make one. And that's just kind of like... One of those were like, what? <laughs> and this puzzle was the nightmare of my childhood. Wait, there's usually ice Pokemon in here. I should get um, chocolate some extra experience. I'll sugar as a backup. Okay, that and Gol. There's Ice Pokemon and Gol and the Zubat family. <laughs> Cause it wouldn't be a cave without Zubats. Nice. Or at least use chocolate until she evolves. Oops. I fucking hate these puzzles. Like, they literally created anxiety in me when I was a kid. Oh, 
It was really bad. I mean, I've had anxiety as a, ever since I was a kid, but I didn't know what it was called. But I, I remember that I felt scared and I cried a lot in school and I felt like... Honestly, the closest thing I could say it felt like was like an, a feeling of impending doom. Like, feeling like something bad was going to happen no matter what, you know, you, you couldn't do anything about it. And it was just fucking terrible. And it also made me, made it very difficult for me to make friends. Like, I was scared of people. Like, that Stranger Danger shit? I will say this much. Stranger Danger, I say, have kids understand that, you know, you need to trust your, like, like, don't go running off with strangers. But don't make, don't do it to a point where... You know, especially if your child has anxiety, or if there is the possibility that they have anxiety. Uh, oh, I thought maybe I can could pull a, a red and blue glitch there. It's where you would push it and then look a different way, and the um, and the little scuff marks would go in a different direction. Sadly, it cannot be done on these newer versions, I suppose. Oh my god, can I get all of them on, one, on the first shot? Oh my god, I fucking did them all in one shot. Come on. Yay! At least the gold bats give out a decent experience. One of these has an item. Okay. Think this is where it is? Nope! There we go. Those puzzles. Like, oh my god. Fucking anxiety. Oh, I forgot! I have to talk about Karoon and Rock Smash. Now I don't have to go a long way around. Here? Okay, that's rust. There we go. There's this. What the fuck is this one? Cool. Oh, come on. Fuck you, Zubat. Oh, fuck. Woohoo, I found a whole bunch of shit.
Oh, okay. Made it, made it, made it. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like so I know that you're enjoying the series. Or oh, hey, leave a comment, tell me what you're thinking. And I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye guys!